I embarrassingly cannot tell two Asian co-workers apart. How do I get better at this? Serious answer. The more time you spend around them, the easier it'll be. The reason the phrase, all people look the same, exists is because when we aren't used to seeing people, we only see the superficial stuff like face, eye, etc., shape, hair and skin color, etc. As you're around them more, you'll pick up on more subtle details and will be able to tell them apart better. It's the same in telling two of any similarish things apart people, animals, cars, buildings, etc. There is more to than just looking at face to tell them apart. For instance, take a look at their haircut, body style, shoes, and small things like the way they interact with you, how they spec, or if they have any scars or tattoos, or do they wear different accessories? This will help you tell them apart. Try noticing a difference in their voice if they are seemingly identical appearance-wise to you. While addressing them stick with, heya, hello there, etc. Say you are bad with names and faces and proceed to to get everyone's name wrong. The obvious answer is that you take a black sharpie and mark one of their arms. The more time you spend with them, the more you'll notice differences. Don't feel bad about it. It's more common than you think. With any race or group of people you're not familiar with. I have mild face blindness. And frequently rely on things other than people's faces to recognize them. Some important things to note are. Freckles. Eye shape. Color. Clothes. Shoes. And other distinguishing characteristics. I once had two teachers in middle school with a blonde bob cut and it took me until halfway through the semester to be able to tell them apart. Look at their shoes. Associate just one with a pair of shoes. Verify the name by asking a co-worker. Carefully hang a bell on one of them. I have the same problem with white people which is absolutely bizarre, given that I am white. Answer. Watch Asian TV shows. Any subject that interests you. As long as it's live action. It'll probably be overwhelming at first. But it's comfortably guaranteed that you'll pick up on what you're looking to learn. It'll be especially effective if you get interested enough in a show to let your guard down. I had a similar desire. I found Abonics to be off-putting and I didn't like that I felt that way. I began to listen to podcasts of those who used that vernacular. My stressors on it disappeared. I can't pinpoint exactly when. But I can tell you now that I have no reaction to that manner of speech. Find something physically different between them? Just like you would tell twins apart. Don't worry, they can't tell you apart either. Look at the details on their faces. Eye angle. Nose width. Moles. Mouth shape. Teeth. Most white people look alike. But we have more hair color variation and we're used to differentiating small facial details among our own race. When you see them next to each other, watch what clothes they are wearing. XA red sweater, YA gray one, so when you see one of them again them the same day, you'll know, if you keep paying attention you'll be able to tell them apart without the trick. Draw a line on one of their arms with a sharpie. Some people start being good at recognizing faces, some not, so if you have a photo of each, study them or in person discreetly, carefully notice some differences. Similar with siblings or even twins. Look hard enough and you'll find subtle physical variations in twins. Birthmarks, freckles, or moles appear in different spots. HTTPS www.verywellfamily.com slash tentricksforetellingtwinsapart244710 
I have this problem at work have constantly mixed up East Asian co-workers. I also do this with South Asian co-workers. I feel terrible about it. One of them pointedly said his name to me today when he was confirming a shift swap. So I know it bothers people. I wear a medial alert bracelet that says, can't remember names. Now I don't have to bother. It's a medical condition yo. Get to know them for one. And if it is still an issue maybe avoid naming them? It would avoid the problem of embarrassingly calling them the wrong name at least. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.